it's Sunny. Welcome to the Wonder and Society. So in today's video, I am going to be unhauling some books, decluttering and reorganizing those mess of a bookshelf. So if you like satisfying transformation and if you like looking at mess being turned into something nice to look at, then keep on watching this video. I started uh, collecting books some years ago, then I moved to London. I bought a shit ton of books in London and then I moved back in France and I brought my books back with me. And I just put everything on my bookshelves without organizing it. But that is why we are here today. I am going to fix that mess and hopefully you'll like... And hopefully you'll like... You'll like watching this. I'm going to put everything in this little tote bag um, and let's see the fun discoveries that we see on my bookshelves. For example, I have some avocado oil. This 100 person does not belong on a bookshelf. So it's going in a little baggy bag. I also have like three pairs of glasses on there. Why, you may ask? Who knows? Literally, who knows? If I want to have three pairs of sunglasses on my bookshelves, why not? Why not? Hey. Cereals on my bookshelf. Why? I do not know. I also have this little Hello Kitty thing. I don't know what it is. This is the strangest thing I own. Okay, so, so far, don't mind the two top shelves because I won't be putting any books on there so far. I will be decluttering that later and using it for other purposes. So, so far, the three shelves that I actually use for books have been decluttered in terms of uh, bits and bobs and random things. Now, I only have books and magazines left on there so we might proceed to the next step which is unhauling books this is the heartbreaking part this is the part where i am going to decide which book i am going to keep which books i am going to donate or sell this is the hard part so yeah time to go there's a time for everything and it's time to get started with this Okay, let's start with the unhauling. So I will be proceeding shelf by shelf. I will be making three piles on my bed that is in front of me. One will be for the books that I am definitely keeping. One is going to be for the books that I'm definitely getting rid of, which I will later sell and donate. And one pile for the books I'm unsure of and still need to think about. Um, so, Let's get started, I guess. Rage Becomes Her, I am definitely keeping. I am. I have studied this book and it is amazing so far. And I just cannot wait to read the whole thing because I can tell that it's gonna be a life-changing book. Normal People by Sally Rooney, I am unsure of. It's going in the third pile. Because I have read it. And I'm not sure I'm gonna wanna read it again because it wasn't groundbreaking for me. But also, you know what, actually, I'm lying. I'm not gonna reread this ever, so I'm getting rid of this. Eloquent Rage, I am keeping. Plus, it was a gift from Sumaya, the other YouTuber on this channel. This is your first time watching us. She posted the video last week. You can go check it out. And this was a gift from her, so how could I not keep it? I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of those editions of the uh, Penguin Classics, the one with the black spine, because I love them too much. These are such beautiful editions. Oh my god. This is my pile of the French editions of Harry Potter. Uh, but 
I don't think E and I think I'm gonna get rid of all of them for a bunch of reasons first of all it doesn't feel nice seeing JK Rowling's name on my bookshelves knowing where she stands about uh, trans lives, trans people second of all, um, I don't think I'm ever gonna read those um, French copies and even if I do someday for some reason reread the Harry Potter books it will probably be the audiobook or an ebook so I really don't see the point of keeping this so this is going into my getting rid of pile for now I'm putting this one in my who am I kidding who who actually believes I'm gonna get rid of the sacred history this is going on my keeping pile <laughs> Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, really? I haven't even read this in... Yeah. Alright, so I have all those blue books from the Penguin Modern Classics collection and in no way I am getting rid of any of these they are all amazing books or books that I haven't read yet but I know will be amazing the editions look so nice the collection is so satisfying so I am 100% keeping those I love this one and it's so pretty look at it I love, I love card bags. I just wish they weren't so expensive and so inconvenient to read and carry around. This doesn't look like it, but it's actually exhausting work. So I'm going to have a little bit of a tea break and then I'm going to come back to it and get to the next step, which is organizing my bookshelves, putting back all the books that I'm keeping making it look nice.